Today's Uplearn Features is about Carolyn Bertozzi, a professor researching a potential cancer treatment unlike anything that is currently in use. In 1984, Carolyn started at Harvard, where she was one of only four women in her chemistry lectures. Despite being a high achiever, Carolyn struggled to find research experience. Many professors did not allow women to work in their labs, something that would not be legal today. Fortunately, a professor, Joe Grabowski, noticed Carolyn's talent and asked her to work in his lab. From then on, Carolyn was hooked on organic chemistry, and in 1996, she was the third woman to join the chemistry faculty at Berkeley. Now, in 2021, Carolyn is in charge of her own lab group and would never dream of turning someone away based on their gender. Carolyn focuses on being a role model to everyone in her lab and wants to normalise women being in positions of authority. One aspect of research they are currently carrying out in the lab is investigating the sugar coatings on living cells. Every living cell has these sugar coatings. They're built up of tiny building blocks like glucose to form complex sugar molecules. Depending on a cell's function, the coating will be made up of different sugars. Carolyn discovered cancer cells have an extremely high density of sialoglycans on the surface of their cells compared to healthy cells. This sugar strand is a sialoglycan, as the final building block is sialic acid. And so are all of these. We can draw sialoglycans on cancer cells like this. At first, people weren't sure why these cancer cells had sialic acid on their surfaces. But Carolyn and her team uncovered that the reason was due to the sialic acids behaving like a cloak to trick the immune system. Our immune system is composed of immune cells, which travel around in our bloodstream, looking out for foreign or diseased cells. Immune cells have proteins on their surface which behave like fingers. When immune cells come into contact with other cells in our body, they use these fingers to read which sugars are on the surface of the cells they meet. If the immune system recognises the other cell as self and therefore not foreign or damaging, the cell will be left alone. Alternatively, if the immune cell detects that the other cell is foreign or diseased, it will send for help or kill the cell to prevent a disease from spreading around your body. When immune cells come into contact with sialic acid, the fingers on the immune cell read it as self and leave it alone. Therefore, by cancer cells covering themselves in sialic acid, they are detected as self by the immune cells. The cancer cells will be left alone and continue to spread, forming a tumour. Carolyn is developing a medication targeted for cancer cells which removes sialic acid from the sugar coating, allowing the body's immune cells to detect and destroy cancer cells. This medication is still undergoing testing, but should enter human trials this year. Through all of this complicated research, Carolyn has been supported by her wife and three children, and is continuing to mentor the next generation of scientists and fight for equal opportunities. Here is what she has to say. Chart your own path that embodies your interests and personality. And don't listen too closely to others' advice. <laughs>